What's going on guys, Jokeristic here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I hunt my shiny dins. I have a lot of you ask me that while I'm on stream, so um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. You know, um, step one I guess, we are going to um, go to Cerebi and um, figure out which den we want to hunt down. Now, on the left, we have the red beans, and then on the right, they have the purple beans. Uh, the purple beans usually have like the better stats and like the more rare Pokemon, so usually I go for the purple beans. So we already hunted down which one we're gonna go to. We're gonna go to Den 93, and we're on Shield, so that's going to have Wooper, Barboge, Yamas, Golet, uh, the, the, you guys get it. The prize though is this G-Max Anaconda. That's what we're really after. So, this is the den. Uh, I forgot to tell you. Um, this little picture over here kind of tells you like where you're at. So you just go to where that picture is in the wild area. We're already here. Um, so from here, you're going to go into your options, make sure your autosave is off, and then make sure your speed is on slow. Once you've done that, go ahead and save the game. And then you can start hunting the den. So we're just going to throw in a wishing piece. And because that was a red beam, we're going to close our game and reopen it. And you're basically just going to do this until you see the purple beam. Now, if you're after the red beam, you know, just let it save and then switch your settings back to fast and whatever. But since we're after the purple beam, we're going to close it, try again. Okay, that was also a red beam so uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause and I will come back once we find the purple beam okay we are back with our purple beam so now that you have found your purple beam you're just gonna click into it and battle this now you can invite others or not it's kind of up to you guys but uh, I usually don't invite anybody. I feel like it kind of slows things down. And then plus, um, like a lot of people assume that just because my name popped up that it's shiny. And then uh, I got to deal with some people in Discord. So that's the thing too, apparently. Hopefully I can clear this thing on the first try, then uh, we can keep going. Oh nice, water absorb. Magic Carp, you're useless.
use an attack. <laughs> it's sad when this magic card's putting in more work than you, Clefairy. Come on now. Because we have a 100% catch rate, we're just going to throw any old ball at it. Could they make this scene longer? <laughs> So now that we have captured our Pokemon, we're going to, now, what I do is I make sure that this Pokemon is in my party, just because it's a little faster to trade him, but we're going to go connect to the internet, and then you're going to go to Discord. Okay, now once you're in our Discord, you can come down here to Entebot, hit Percentage, Seed, and Enter. Then it will send you a message with a trade code. Okay. Then you're just going to go into the game. And enter that trade code. Then once you connect, You're going to just trade the Pokemon you just caught. It's going to fail. And that's how you know it's done right. So you're just going to come out, close your game. Don't save. And then you're going to reopen your game. And then in Discord, I'll make this a little bigger so you guys can see. It tells you how many frames until Star Shiny. How many frames until square shiny? Now your frames are essentially how many days you're going to skip. Okay, so... What you're going to do is fly to the nearest Pokemon Center. then you're going to want to connect to the internet go down to link battle now I am going to have to pull my switch out of the dock for a few seconds because my um, you can't go into airplane mode while your joy cons are disconnected because you will lose your joy cons so you're going to just pull it out, go to your home screen, go to settings, and airplane mode is the first thing. So you're just going to hit on, uh, where's that, right there. And then you're going to go back into game, and you're going to get this error message. Okay, and that's what we want. So then after that, you want to go and turn airplane mode back off. This is basically just so I can get my Joy-Cons back. Or whatever wireless controller you guys choose to use. Okay, now that we've done that, we can now skip days. So from here, you're going to go back to your home screen. 
and then go down to system date and time make sure this says off and then just flip it one day and then that's a frame now you can go like this you don't have to go back into game every time you can go one frame two frames three frames okay you can do it that way also you just have to make sure you click that OK otherwise it won't count as a frame okay now what I do because I have an Arduino board and this thing saves me so much time I just plug this into my computer if I can get it in there now there we go then I reset it because you have to format it every time you want it to do something new then I go into this program which allows me to program my board with all these different things I, I don't use all these different things so guys I'm going to be honest with you I just mainly use this day skipper now with this since our square shiny den was this many days away um, to set it up random you're gonna wanna go back three days now we already skipped four days so I'm gonna set it back an additional four days so one two three four because if we don't then it will be set to one Pokemon and I messed up already ignore that for just 10 seconds <laughs> I need to see what date my switch is on so that way I can set this to the correct date okay so 2 25 24 okay so now that's set up I just hit save and generate then after I have this all set I'm going to go into the program that actually flashes the board now once this is open we're just gonna go into the USB open and then load hex day skipper and then run and that's it for that now that that's going we're just going to unplug this go into our settings date and time and then we're just gonna hover over this and then plug our board into our switch dock and then it takes over for me and now it's just gonna skip a bunch of days until it's on the day we need it to be on so I will be back in an hour and 20 minutes it says so see you guys then okay guys we are back now um, I went ahead and moved over to our den and we should be all set and good to go now um, the few things you just want to check really fast you want to come in here go to options oh, that would have been bad uh, make sure this is set back to fast because uh, that's the thing you're gonna have to do and then you want to make sure that you save right in front of the den and then uh, let's go ahead and plug our board in. Let's see if we got our shiny. Ok, 
Okay, so I don't know what just happened there. My screen just went out. But, um, we, we made it back in time to actually see if the shiny was going to be here or not. So, uh, that's good, I guess, right? Now we just wait a minute. And, uh... You, you guys have seen this if you guys have been in any of my streams. Uh, this is that minute where it adds you guys to my friends list and all that stuff, so. actually need to go through and erase my friends list still apparently before I actually host this so that, that'll be a thing uh, I'll, I'll probably be hosting this before you guys even see this video anyway but that's a thing There we have it. That simple, guys. Alright, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions at all, just go ahead and ask them either in Discord or the comment section. I will be there to answer whatever you guys need. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.